How's everybody doing today? My name is Wendy Thomas with All His Strength Ministries, and Jesus wants me to give you a word today. He says that it is His good pleasure to give you the kingdom, and He wants to give it to you, and He loves and desires for you to have a relationship with Him. He wants above all things for you to prosper and to be in good health, and he just uh, wants to just impart to you today um, his good um, nature and his anointing. He wants you to abound in all things um, as we stay in the word and we fix and we focus our lives on Jesus. You know, we find a love that um, is unfathomable. And he loves us so much. And what a great honor it is. So I just pray, Father, for your children, for your sons and your daughters right now. I ask you to bless them, Father. Anoint them. Anoint their head with oil that their cup runneth over, Lord. And I pray that their faith um, rise up within them and just to give them a new, a renewing and regenerizing hope and, um, and pour on them your liquid love like you do. You're just so gracious, Lord. Everything uh, that you have from the throne to envelop them today, Father. And it is your good pleasure that we do receive the kingdom. Father, give them a hunger, Father. Uh, to seek your heart and to seek your kingdom like never before. Let them feel your heart and your love that you have towards them and just increase. I just speak increase right now and if and hold your hands out right now. He says, I'm going to make your hands healing hands. He's touching you right now. And he's just going to give you an anointing for healing. And I just pray that every person that you touched, every yoke will be broken. Um, every addiction will flee. Um, cancer leaves. Every single darkness leaves as you just touch their hands. So I thank you, Lord, that they have that anointing, Lord, that destroys every yoke. And I thank you, Father. Bless your children in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Well, he is good. Do you know? He has great thoughts towards us. And, and he just wants me to let you know that he hungers, 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 hungers. And he thirsts for us just to know him and to desire him. Um, he stands in front of us all the time. And he's just wooing us. He just goes, come here. Come here, my children. I love you. Yes, he goes, I love you. You're my favorite. You're perfect in my eyes. You're made in my image. You're everything that I've ever desired to have is found inside of you. And you are complete. You know that when you become born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, that you were a sinner saved by grace. But now, grace abounds and you no longer are a sinner. Okay? Because the blood of Jesus has cleansed you from all unrighteousness. Now you are the righteousness of God. And that's what Jesus thinks about you. He says, you're altogether lovely and altogether perfect to me. Yes. And bless you. Wow. He says, let me just read here. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger. And he that believes on me shall never thirst. You will never, ever hunger or thirst again when you get Jesus. He feeds you um, from his throne. 
and he makes us sufficient. He says, I give you all sufficiency, that you are complete, and you're able to abolish one another. You're able to pray with one another. You're able to bless one another. You're able to do all these wonderful things that I have called you to do, and he takes delight in you. He really does. He just keeps, I just hear him keep saying that, I delight in you. Do you hear that? Huh? He says, I love you with an everlasting love that never fails, okay? My love for you never fails. Everybody else can fail you, but I will never fail you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you, okay? You are mine and I am yours. And you are complete. And it doesn't matter what you think. You need to take every thought captive to the obedience of God. This is what he thinks of you. <laughs> All these words in the Bible. This is what he thinks about you. He, God loved us so much that he gave us Jesus, his only begotten son. That whosoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So, you know, God is love. And God loved us so much. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lays down his life for his friends. You are his friends. If you do whatsoever he asks you to do, he says, I no longer call you servants or a slave because um, then you wouldn't know what your father says. But he says, I will, I share everything with you. Everything I have is yours. Everything you are is mine. You're made to me, through me, and for my pleasure. And there's joy. There's extreme joy in Jesus. And he is awesome. And he says, diligently seek him with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, and all your strength. And there is where you'll find um, completion, wholeness, serenity, peace, and love that passes all understanding. God bless you all.